Hey crafty family, how you doing today? I've got some cool things to show you that I got in the mail today and then we'll get to the giveaway stuff. But right now I wanted to share my pocket letters that I got. Um, and well first I got, um, I ordered stuff from Becky's craft room a while back. I ordered some score tape and stuff like that. Um, and they're really cool there. If you ever get a chance to check them out, it's uh, beckyscraftroom.com. It's spelled B-E-C-K-Y, well, B-E-C-K-Y-S, craft room, Becky's craft room. Um, check them out. They're really cool. They have good prices on things like score tapes and all kinds of different stuff. But um, she had emailed me after she had sent me the package, and I had said, thank you, I got it, blah, blah, blah. And she said, did you get, you know, because usually I guess she sends a little gift of, like, um, some cutouts, you know, some die cuts or what have you. And she's like, oh, I think I forgot to send them to you. I said, don't worry about it. You know, it's no big deal. No, she, well, she ended up sending me like a whole stack of chipboard tags, which I thought was really cool. So thank you, Becky. That was really sweet of you to do that. So she sent me a really cool stack of tags, which was really nice. So I got those today. I also got um, all the way from New York, and I forget who this is from. We're going to have to look together because it doesn't say on the return address who it's from. It just says their address, so I'll look because I can't remember who was in New York that I swapped with. But um, look at this beautiful pocket letter. It's pink, of course, my colors. But, um, yeah, it's gorgeous. And I'm going to find out. Let's see. Where's the letter? Because that will determine. I think it's behind here. And it will say their name, so... Or maybe it's not back here. Oh wait. Oh, okay. This is from this is from Pat. Okay. So this is from Pat. Okay. So now that I know who it's from, we can look we can look through it. But isn't it beautiful? I mean, goodness, it's so beautiful. And this one she gave me some I love the dog bone um, paper clips. They're so adorable. I have I had some, but then I had given them all away or used them all, so I'm glad she gave me some because I was like missing them. But then she decorated that card with bling and it's got like this little applique. It's so pretty. I love this pocket letter. It's so pretty. I just walked in the door and checked my mail and it was there and all I did was open the package. I didn't go through anything. So we're doing that together. And this has a little thing with a, uh, a brad on it that says dream. It swings back and forth. And it's got that little vintage picture on there. And it's got what looks like like rock glitter. That kind of rough, like rock glitter. I can't, I don't know how to explain it any other way. But it's really pretty. And then behind it she put some skulls, which I love skulls. These little cutouts. I guess they were on a stick of some sort. Like a for cupcakes maybe because they have them they're cut off there but I love them I think they're gonna be great around Halloween time for sure I love me some skulls Halloween's my favorite holiday so I'm gonna be doing like massive amounts of Halloween pocket letters because that is my favorite holiday in the world it's awesomeness get in there there you go okay let's see what else we got Ooh, tickets. I like me some tickets. Those are fun to distress and use in projects. Those are way fun. And then this says, always know in your heart that you are bigger than anything that can ever happen to you. And I love how she distressed it and ripped it and everything. It's so cool. Love it. And then there's this little card in here. It says, thank you for swapping with me. I hope you like them. I love making these. That's really sweet. I love it. I love how she did that with the ripping and, and making it look distressed. That's a really, I love that technique. It's so much fun to do. All right, get back in there, sucker. Get in there. Okay, and then we've got this one, which is covered in um, that stuff. What's the name of it? You know. Um, tool. That's it. It's like glittery, and it's covered in tool. It says, life is what happens to us while, uh, while we are making other plans. That's really cool. I love it. I love that she wrapped it in tool like that. That's so cool. It's cool to have tool. <laughs> yes, I'm a dork. And then there's this one, which has the trim on the top and this beautiful flower. Very pretty. And then it's got what looks like a bunch of little tags. Cute. And I'm wondering 
if this has a note on it that I'm supposed to put together like a puzzle because on the back there's some writing. So I'm going to have to put that together and see what it says. <laughs> I love that idea. I love a challenge. That's so funny. I'm going to leave that aside because I'm actually going to check and see what it says because, of course, I have to know. Um, and then, of course, we've got this one, which has a little wood piece that says this Inspire. And it's got a little... Oh, and that's going to drive me nuts now because I'm going to sit here and do that for like the next five minutes. <laughs> it's got a little tag. Oh, and there's more writing on the back of this tag. So maybe it wasn't supposed to be. Maybe she just wrote on it and then used it, which is great because I love when people recycle things. So that's fantastic. So maybe it's not a puzzle for me to put together unless this is like the missing piece under here. I don't know. It's like a mystery. Otherwise, it's little tags, which I will use, and I love when people recycle things like that. To me, that's awesome. And she gave me a vintage picture, which I love. And then, of course, her other little note was in here. So, that's so cute. I love it. I love getting happy mail. And then, when we got back here, we've got this cute little... She made, like, one of those little flower wrappy holdy things and then stuck a flower in it yeah that's the technical term for it too by the way the flower wrappy holdy thing oh yeah and then she sent me some wood chip letters and i think it says i think there's an i don't know let's see we got a d we got an m and we got a k um so dmk and then we've got these chipboard tags, and we've got this little ribbon thingam thingamabobber. We've got another ribbon thingamabobber. And then we've got these cute little cutouts, which I love, that are shaped like that. And these are so cute. I love it. I wonder what, what, how she picked out DMK, or is that just random? Maybe there's some hidden meaning. That's what I would love to get. I, I mean, who knows? This could be what she did. But, like, a pocket letter that has a lot of hidden meaning and, like, riddles where you have to figure it out. That would be interesting. I think I would love that. Ooh. This one says, it's not who you are that holds you back. It's who you think you are not. Which is so true. I love all the quotes. I love it. I love that she took time to stamp the quotes on and then rip the paper and all that stuff and then she gave me pretty pink um i think this is uh, either silk or satin cord love it love it and then in the back of this one or this card if i can get it out you know has this really cute butterfly it looks like it might be clay it's so pretty love it oh and then there's a flower back here oh look how pretty that is love it beautiful thank you so much pat this is beautiful i love it love it love it love it love it love it okay so now we're going to look at another one i will leave this out in the center here so that i can remember that before i put it away to see if it actually is something that's written for me or if it was just crap <laughs> i don't know and then I got this one, and to try to prevent, pronounce her name is going to be rough, because she's from, I think, France? Let me see. Yeah, it's from France, which I'm really excited about. But her last, her name is, Golo, yeah, Gualami, Gualami Sandia, sorry, I suck. I apologize so much. I suck at reading names, especially, like, from other countries. So, I'm so sorry. Does not mean I don't love you and love your pocket letter. <gasps> Look at this. How pretty. Oh, it's purple and it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, let's dig in. So, first thing I'm noticing over here is we got cute little paper clips. They're, like, little mini. Cute. Oh, so adorable. Love that. So cute. And then we've got these cute little butterflies on here. Do you see those? They're so gorgeous. And she put like stickles or... Stop that. But she put like stickles on them or... I don't know if they have stickles in France. Whatever her glitter glue is of choice. That's her letter. I will read that later. Um, so I don't need to read that on camera. 
And then it says love and bling right here, which is really pretty. Love that. Ooh, what is this? Tea? <gasps> tea! I got tea from France! I'm so excited! Wee oui, wee! Oui, I got French tea! <laughs> and then this one has like some sequins on it. So pretty. So I will have tea, French tea, and read my letter, and then I will become French. That's how it works. And then I got, ooh, there's three buttons on here. Those are cool. Those are going to be fun to use. Love it. See if I can get it back in the package. There we go. Okay, let's move on to this side. Mm. Get out without whatever I'm doing. Oh, there's zipper earrings. <gasps> she does what I do. Puts earrings in it. I'm so glad, too, because I love these earrings. Oh, my God. They're so cute. <gasps> they're zipper earrings. I love them. I'm going to put them on right now. I'm literally putting them in my ears right this second as we speak. I'm not going to show you myself in them because I look like crap. But just trust me that I'm putting these earrings on right now because... Uh, yeah, these are totally my style. I'm a 42-year-old teenager because I love earrings that are like that, that are cutesy. Okay, and then there's, I don't know how this is supposed to be. Oh, that was just the earring holder. Never mind. Er, let's try to get this in without killing it. Okay, and then on this page, she put these cute um little buttons aren't they adorable well i'm gonna leave those buttons out because they're gonna keep falling out aren't they cute i don't know whether it's i think it's chipboard that she layered and put the button on top but that's adorable so cute and then there's the purple patterned paper if i can get it back in there come on now and then she gave me some random ribbon and some pink twine. Ooh, I like it. That's pretty. I'm going to leave that out. I'll worry about putting that back in later. <laughs> and then I think we decided that was the... Nope, that's just a tag. And she put a tag on the back. And some little butterfly cutouts are in here. They're so tiny. They're so cute. Oh, I think they were stuck on there, but one fell off. But look at that tiny, 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 tiny little butterfly. I'll put that back in there yeah I think it I think it had fallen off I think because it was so hot out I think that if she put them on with any kind of glue that was heat reactive that it was gonna yeah that's okay because they're still gonna look cute in there cute so excited whoops there goes another butterfly whoopsie whoopsie Okay, and then we have in this pocket, it says for you, and it's a little tag, which I love, and then behind it, ooh, pink, uh, pink. I was going to call it pink. Plain as day, it's purple, but I was going to call it pink. Purple hearts. Isn't they pretty? Love them. So cool. Love it. And then, let's see what's in this one over here. Ooh, look at the horsey stickers. How cute. I love it. They're adorable. Oh, I'm so in love with this. So cute. I, do, I keep popping these sequins off. I don't mean to. I'll put them back on. I've got glue. I'll put them over here. I got some glue I could put them back on with before I put it away. And then what do we got in here? <gasps> Ooh, stamps from Paris. I love it. Yay. It's one of my favorite things to get in a pocket letter is stamps. And I love that this is the Eiffel Tower. It says Paris and Amour. And it's got a wine bottle and a wine glass and a fleur de lis. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Isn't that pretty? Love it. Those are going to be so fun to play with. Oh, goodness. This was a great pocket letter. They were all, both of my pocket letters were fantastic today. I was so happy. Thank you so much to whatever your however you spell your name i'm sorry i can't pronounce it and then to pat thank you so much for my pocket letters i'm so happy and i'm going to put all this stuff back in that's over here but i'm going to get to the giveaway first and then i'll worry about that um i just need to find my giveaway stuff so we're at 300 subscribers already we keep like blowing through man blowing through 
We're doing it. We're moving and shaking. So for this giveaway, we're going to keep it sort of simple. Um, I just announced the other day, I announced a 200 giveaway, um, and that was uh, Christy, Christy, Nick, Christy Nitro. That's it. I'm trying to remember. And then the first one was Shemi, uh, Shemi Dixon. I'm doing good. I'm remembering. Um, so, okay. So for this one, what we're going to do is what you have to do to be um, in this one one be a subscriber so if you're not a subscriber hit subscribe Two, like this video so hit the little thumbs up button um, three share this video on Facebook Twitter Google Plus any social media you want Instagram I don't know whatever just share it I know that I really can't track that but I'm just saying you know if you don't mind share it maybe share this video or you don't even have to share this video share one of your favorites of my videos I don't care share whatever share my channel that's all I'm asking um, so, I mean, just share it on one of your social media, um, outlets that you use the most. And fourth, and I think most importantly, I would love for you to comment and tell me about how you started crafting. Um, what got you into crafting? How old were you? What was your thing that kind of got you hooked into it? And, you know, or, and, or, this is like, you can answer both parts of this or just one part, or tell me what inspires you as a crafter. What is it that inspires you? Whether it's music or if a person, somebody special inspires you or something, just tell me what things inspire you, how you got into crafting. I'd love to read your stories. It would be fantastic. I love that type of stuff. So if you'll do those things, um, I will make sure that you're entered. And also, in the last, um, for the 200 subscriber giveaway, everybody kept not realizing how many videos, because remember I asked you to count how many videos there were, but if you paid attention to the video for the giveaway, I put in, um, in a caption during the video, it said, all the videos up until this one and including this one. So meaning the 200 subscriber giveaway video was included. So it was only up to them. It wasn't all my videos, but I counted everybody. I didn't, I didn't leave anybody out. So don't think that just because you didn't put 41, because I think it was 41, um, that you, if you put 43 or 42 or 40 or 20, I don't care. I still counted everybody. I still put all your names in the hat. Didn't matter. I didn't, it was a question, but I didn't really stick to it because I would felt bad not, having everybody involved so I didn't I didn't take anybody out because of it so don't worry about that um and I know I don't think I ever could do that because I just I just want to I want everybody all my subscribers to have a chance to win so if I ask you a question most of the time I just want to see who gets the answer right <laughs> and it's not really have any bearing on the actual competition or the giveaway or whatever so anyway yeah be a subscriber, like this video, share this on one of your social net networks, and tell me about your crafting experience, how you got started, what inspires you, that kind of stuff. And then we'll keep it open until Friday, June 26th at 6 p.m. The winner will be announced sometime on Saturday. So you don't have to message me and say, when will it, when are you announcing the winner? Because I get like, I got like 10 messages. When are you announcing the winner? I'm announcing it sometime on Saturday. I cannot tell you when because I've got a lot of things going on Saturday. So it'll be sometime on Saturday um, and then it's gonna close on 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 Friday night and if it closes on Friday night and I happen to be home and I happen to not be extremely busy and I can get it up then I will do the video of the winner Friday night if I can swing it but I'm gonna say Saturday just so that people aren't emailing me left and right so we'll do that so that sounds good so that's all you have to do are those things right there and hopefully you'll win and everybody will be happy and I guess that's it um so anyway thank you so so much for hanging out and subscribing and checking out my videos and all that good stuff and I hope you guys have a great great week and I guess I will chat with you later make sure you do what you love love what you do love you bye